Let me show you how to design a poster in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by creating a new file, size 21 by 29.7 centimeters. Drag this image into Photoshop. You'll find the download link in the description below. Now go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. I'm choosing this green color because it closely matches the car. When you finish, press OK. Create a new layer over the solid color layer. Now let's pick a light green color. This one looks good. Select the brush tool, choose the soft round brush, set the opacity to 100% and lower the flow. I'm going to lightly paint around the car with that green. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. Once again, create a new layer. Let's pick this lighter green color and start painting the background like this. All right, grab the rectangle tool and follow these steps. Draw a rectangle right here like this. Let's remove the stroke color and add a green fill instead. We can pick it from here. This one looks good. Follow this process. Go to layer style and add a stroke. Now follow these settings. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. Let's choose a light green color instead of white. I am also going to add an inner shadow. Follow these settings. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. As you can see here, we did this inner shadow. Now press OK. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Hold Shift and select these layers. Let's align them properly. Press Ctrl T and let's scale it while holding the Shift button. Support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. This is our first rectangle and we want to place an image inside it. Now let's organize things a bit by renaming the rectangle layers. Here's how to do it. Drag the image into Photoshop. You'll find the download link in the description below. We want to place this car inside the first rectangle. Let me show you how to do that. Hold Alt and click here to create a clipping mask. Now I'll undo that and show you another method. Click here and choose Create Clipping Mask. Let's do the same thing for the rest. We'll place the second image over the second rectangle. You can download all the images using the link in the description below. Hold Alt and click here to create a clipping mask. Adjust its position like I did here. Now let's place the third image over the third rectangle. I'm going to fast forward this part. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. Now we'll add the text. I've already added it in advance, so I'll just show you each font I used along with its size. This is the font that I'm using. You can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button. I've used the same font for this text, but slightly smaller. I'm going to add a plastic texture over all the layers. You can download it from the link in the description below. Change the blending mode to screen. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. 
Set the opacity to 100 and reduce the flow. Set the foreground color to black. Follow this process. We'll hide certain parts of the texture and leave others visible. Here's the before, here's the after. Let's move to the final part by adding our paragraph just below the title. This text is also available for download through the link in the description. This is the font that I'm using. I've used faux italic here for styling. In the last sentence below, I've applied both faux bold and faux italic and changed the font to bold. Next, we'll add two final words down below, one on the left side and the other on the right. That's it. Hope you liked it. You can get all my Photoshop and Illustrator files on my Patreon page for a small subscription fee. Join now. Link in the description. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.